What's up guys, it's your boy Swole Benji, and welcome back to another Albion Online video. The patch notes came out earlier than I anticipated. Mm, as you can see here, the Black Zone map have, has been improved! Ooh, yes! With season point multipliers for territories, like people really care about these things. And energy storage by territory, oh boy! The Faction Warfare UI has changed! We got Faction Warfare player rankings. Now only list players who were active within the prior week, oh jolly good, and resolved the rare issue that caused Faction Warfare player rankings to display incorrectly. Oh, dual changes, oh, dual changes, oh. Dual circles now have a defined maximum height difference between participants. Mm, if one player exceeds a certain height or depth, the fleeing countdown will start. This is intended to fix terrain obstruction dual exploits in certain areas. <laughs> like... Back in the day, there were people that would duel you for lots of gold, and if you accepted it, they were up on a ledge and you could not hit them, meaning you would automatically lose the duel. Unfortunately, this... <laughs> what is that accent I was using? But basically, yeah, people were scamming with, uh, <laughs> with uh, gold exploits. That was like, uh, what is that? Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! That was the accent. I didn't even know that. Okay, so here's the patch notes. <laughs> <laughs> they nerfed Arcane Staff, um, and then they nerfed, or they buffed Crossbows, Exploding Mine, re on Weeping Repeater. Useless weapon, by the way. Why would anyone ever use it? They completely changed Curse Staff. I'm so glad I never maxed out, um, whatever this weapon, Life Curse Staff. I made a video on this saying that it was great for soloing group dungeons. Well, not anymore, thanks, SBI, or Still Front. Jeez, I mean, why would they buy out... SBI for like 62 million and then nerf life curse staff. How could you? How could you do this? Wow, the fire staffs, they changed the searing flame and they fixed an issue where the, its collision detection was unreliable at max range. This means its effective range is now increased. And then magma sphere, you know, it rolls faster and you can cast it faster and it does more damage. And the ignite now does a percentage of the target's max health. Like, who cares? Okay, I don't like this percent max health mechanic in video games. The first time I've ever seen this was in League of Legends, and it was bad there, and it's bad here. Okay, so hammers. Wow, you don't get to break as much resistance, and you don't deal as much damage, and the cooldown's longer, and the stun is shorter, so... Haha, <laughs> hammers. Sorry, hammer bros. If you leveled up hammers, you're done for. Holy staffs. Holy crap, more like, okay? They changed the cooldowns and the cast time and the hit delay, and they removed the healing per target effect, and then they changed the energy cost. Holy Toledo's! And Celestial Sphere is now uninterruptible. With Divine Intervention on the Hallowfall having its cooldown reduction when healing an ally buffed to 40%. Oh my goodness! How could they do this? Now, Maces... Guess what? They've been out of the Crystal League 5v5 that no one ever plays because only the very top 0.0001% plays this crap. Normal people that play your game at the gym while they're working out on their cell phones or just casually logging in, still trying to figure out the game, they watch YouTube videos like this, and then they go to Reddit and there's a hate mob that tries to dissuade people from watching my math mathematically superior videos. Sorry, bros, but I did the math, I did the spreadsheets, and I did the legwork. My videos are just top-notch. Anyway, so, the guard rune has been overhauled to make allies immune to knockbacks and stuns, because we don't have enough of that in the game. It can be used to support a caster backline, which isn't a thing that people do <laughs> at all. Except in Crystal League 5v5, of course. Oh, no, let's... Let's make our entire game around the Corrupted Dungeon and the Crystal League meta. Let's just ignore the rest of the whole game, because why not? So anyway, you can read this yourself if you go to albiononline.com and click the news button, and there you go, that's how you get to this, even though the game launcher doesn't really do it. So Sacred Ground has a shorter cast time, and enemies inside are now slowed. Ooh, Guard Rune. Makes him immune to forced movement. He can't be forcefully moved around anymore. And stuns. It increases your resistance by a tiny little amount. Which, who cares? Like, if you get caught by a mace in a, in a ZVZ, you're still gonna die. 
And then Battle Howl, the cooldown was reduced. Nature Staffs, Thorns increases your damage up to 50%. Um, <laughs> so dumb. It's a huge nerf, like... Rip soloing group dungeon bosses, just goodbye. Just wave, everyone wave bye to it. Raise your hands like you're giving Goku all of your your energy, okay? And just say, just just wave both hands in the air and just say goodbye, nature staffs, goodbye. Uh, it's gone. I would be upset, but I have a better game to play. <laughs> Spears, look at that. They nerfed the normal attack damage increase by taking the 40% that it was at, you know... This is really going to upset Big Lips McGee because he is the YouTuber for Spears. I mean, I can just see him right now. He's just like looking at the patch notes and he just like his jaw drops and he just starts slamming his desk and he, uh, you know, all the other, uh, he's got a bunch of Albion YouTubers like tied up in his basement and he beats them. He's just like, mm, this is for the Spear nerfs. How dare you? How dare you? This is all your fault. Right? And, uh, <laughs> So anyway, ner spears are nerfed 40 to 32 percent normal tag damage increase. Look at this, guys! Look at this swords. All right, so now you have Ecord. You know he's got his people tied up in the basement, and he's like, "How dare they buff swords? That makes the game too easy." And he starts beating them, just starts punching them. Just mm, 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 mm. no, I'm just I'm just playing, guys. Anyway, so swords got a buff. Okay, the the Galatine pair. Uh, and the Clarent Blade. Clarent, Clarent Blade sounds like a musical instrument, okay? It doesn't sound like a weapon. Maybe it's a real weapon. I'm not a weapons guy. I don't, like, research or read about weapons. I don't care. Okay, if you use a sword in the modern era instead of a, a firearm, you're, you're, you're a silly dude, okay? So they made the silence longer, okay? I don't know why a sword has a silence attack. That's just kind of silly. And then they, uh, they made the three stacks deal almost double the damage. Uh, not quite double, but almost. Like, just make it 96. Just round it out. Just double it. Just double it. Easy. Right? And then the Soulless Stream, which is a really dumb name for a, a, a spell. Um, and then they, they buffed the damage by a bunch. So now, uh, enjoy your ZVZ explosions. Uh, they nerfed it for a reason, and then they unnerfed it. I, I guess... The developer of the game decided that he wants to play Galatine pairs this season. So him and his bros all, you know, used Game Master commands to give themselves maximum power, item level, gear score, whatever the frick it's called in this game. And, and now they're all going to run around with Galatine pairs on their, their secret alt sock puppet accounts and blow people up and then laugh. Okay, now shoes. Yo, druid sandals. Okay, they made you run faster with the druid sandals. It's still not viable in anything, so just, it's pointless. Just ma make it 60, and then I'll use it, okay? Mounts, um, no one uses battle mounts, so we're just going to skip that. Okay, no one in the game uses battle mounts. Battle mounts don't actually exist in this game. They, th there's always battle mounts mentioned in the patch notes, and there's YouTubers that apparently ride around on battle mounts and down people in yellow zones. I don't know what they're talking about, okay? Battle mounts have never been in the game. This is like a, an early April Fool's joke, okay? Even though it's... Yeah, so anyway, then they fixed um, the rare issue where Wall of Flames triggered rapidly when cast close to a wall. Do you guys, do you guys remember that? There was like a guy that invaded a dungeon, he got Wall of Flamed into a wall, and he just immediately got deleted, okay? So they fixed that, it only took them half a year to fix, but they, they fixed it, you know. I, I guess eventually one of the devs got sick of being killed by it, so they decided to like, stop eating Cheetos and actually get it done. So then they corrected the effect area link displayed for Spirit Animal, which, um, do people actually even use that? Because that's silly. Then activation buff for the poison, which is the mage cap. Bam! Freaking hiccuping here. Uh, can, can now be purged, okay? So if, if someone's using a mage cow, then just waste your purge on it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, just waste your purge on it, dude. Go for it. Uh, and then the Soul Shaker, the Grail Seeker ability, they adjusted the tooltip. And then the spell indicator will show the correct range, okay? Um, I don't know anyone that actually plays with the, the spell indicator on. Okay, I don't know anybody that even plays Albion online. So I guess that statement's kind of irrelevant anyway. So fixed an issue where spell slot cooldowns were sometimes wrong after the failed cast attempt. EG, what does EG mean? Uh, electronic games? Enormous girth? I mean, I don't know what EG means because I'm not educated. So... In connection with Soul Shaker's spell, should they put a the in between with? 
I, I don't know. Who wrote these patch notes? I wrote the patch notes. I'm the patch notes author, guys. Spoiler alert. I typed this whole changelog out into the Albion Online page. All right, so we're just going to... Let's just... Uh, can, can we do inspect element here and fix this? Uh, yeah, we're just going to fix that. Okay. And, uh, and, and there we go. And there we go. We fixed it, guys. Now it says with the Soul Shaker spell. Okay. Uh, fixed an issue where the, this word, I'm not going to say it, could sometimes not work when knocked down. And hey, okay, if you're knocked down, you, you can't. I mean, you can't do that in real life if you're knocked down either. And then they fixed the ballistas when it should have been unlocked. Um, the crafting of ballistas, okay? If you craft ballistas, I don't know why you would ever craft a ballista. I'm sorry, if you craft a ballista in this game, ballistas don't actually exist because, like I said earlier, battle mounts don't actually exist, all right? And then in mobile, I don't know anyone that owns a cell phone, okay? Like, cell phones don't exist, clearly. They don't exist. And then additional graphical audio animation terrain UI and localization fixes, which includes keeping Soul Benji permanently muted from the game. So, anyway, guys, that's the patch notes. You can view them on the Albion Online website. Which is, um, you know, it's kind of cartoony and silly looking. Uh, really, uh, like, like you can make this in like twenty minutes of Photoshop. I'm just, I'm just gonna, you know, just say, it, just throw it out there, you know. And uh, you know, I just wanna, just wanna thank the developers for the nature staff nerf, you know, because um, how many years was it? Three years, and you finally fixed it. You finally, you finally nerfed it. There we go, guys. I'm so Benji. Thanks for watching. You know the outro. I don't need to tell you. People don't watch Albion videos anymore. Anyway, take care.